Good morning, folks. We've got eye candy, catastrophism cycles, and some powerful climate punches with part four in the mini-series coming out tonight. We are, of course, starting as always over at spaceweathernews.com, and we find the last 24 hours on our star mostly quiet. Minor motions only as the southern coronal hole swings through. Solar wind and geomagnetic conditions are quiet. And the active region of note today is incoming on the south. This one crested into view as a surface magnetic complex and has since developed umbra. Eyes on her today. Let's go right to a record star. They say they found the fastest spinning white dwarf, completing a rotation in only 25 seconds. They say it's tossing material from a partner, rather than gobbling it up, much like the other colliding wind binaries that we've seen. This one is about as extreme as it gets, and there is not yet any concept for why some stars eat their meals and others start a cosmic food fight. But speaking of which, they say one of the eaters was scoped as well, a powerful star pounding its partner with x-rays while feeding off of its material. These are the stars that go nova, and they say that its partner object is orbiting every few hours due to a pulse in the x-ray return. Problem is, this is really all they've got, literally. This is the image in x-rays that is telling them literally everything they think they know about it. This is the sort of science that ends up changing years down the line when they get a better device to scope those same regions. Folks, this catastrophism story is super cool. It's looking at a period about 96 million years ago in their geologic time scale, but they're seeing all the familiar cycles, even way back in time. They see the centennial and millennial solar cycles, super flare and grand minima, and folks, once you get back past about 50,000 years, the best you can really hope for is that they peg the 12,000 year cycle somewhere between 10 and 15,000 years. Best approximate hope, and here, they said a more than 10,000 year cycle was exceptionally pronounced, resulting in major anoxic swings and deposition in the oceans, abrupt, sudden, and extreme in the long solar cycle. They peg all the cycles seen on the sun. Now. Let's do some climate as the 2021 ozone hole continues to defy the results of the Montreal Protocol. They still try to blame everything in the world except the weakening magnetic field, which doesn't let them politicize the ongoing event. Observers, this isn't going away, and the role of solar particle forcing appears to continue to be ignored. Up next, it's an outstanding work on the complexity and development of the geoelectric field during severe geomagnetic storms. The increasing solar forcing creates a rapid shift in the global electric circuit and atmospheric electricity down to the surface, which you all knew already unless it's your first week here. And folks, while we run spaceweathernews.com, NASA's Dr. Phillips runs spaceweather.com, and his story yesterday on red auroral arcs is going to be super helpful right now for those who have seen the first three parts of the miniseries or been keeping up with our climate coverage. Just like the aurorally excited infrared waves at Jupiter, and just like the aurorally excited equatorward traveling disturbances in our ionosphere, the red arcs are a secondary production of those waves going from pole to equator that we can't see. While not as fast or as beaming, the red arcs also go from polar region towards the equator, and it's the closest the human eyes can visualize the solar forcing process on Earth in this way. Again, folks, part four coming tonight, Barring some sort of major issue on our end, the only thing left is to attack global warming itself as these truths confront a powerful mainstream paradigm. I'll see you later tonight. And we greatly appreciate your support. Online store will be closing for the holiday break in December. Last chance to get our textbooks, children's books, and more. otf.cells.com We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.